this is the greatest time in history to be a European technology entrepreneur. If you look at the level of investment that's gone into Europe in the last year, 14 billion alone, um, that's a record. That's five times where we were five years ago. We have $40 billion companies out of Europe today. Europe isn't is such a mess that uh, it's actually doing a lot better than we would have expected. There's a lot of startup activity. There are these digital front runners that are world class. And the question we tried to answer is, is the policy here in Europe, in Brussels, uh, going to support that? And unfortunately, the answer was a little more negative on that front. We have a couple of countries in the north of Europe uh, that are ahead in the digitization innovation, uh, but they are slowing down uh, and, and not moving ahead at a fast enough pace and are likely to, to be overrun uh, by, by many Asian countries uh, in a few years to come. To improve that, it's, it's all about increasing and, and accelerating digitization uh, and on the other hand also uh, creating labor market flexibility, creating educational systems that can handle skills for the future. Coming from a, a member state perspective, from, from the Danish uh, government as part of a, a larger like-minded group of countries who really uh, work quite hard to promote uh, innovation and growth through uh, simple, uh, better regulation policies, uh, less restrictions, uh, more smart policies. And this is something that we hope that other member states will, will join in these, uh, in these efforts. What we see is new rules being introduced in Europe on audiovisual services like thing, uh, films you watch on TV, on telecoms rules, on copyright rules. And many of those actually, rather than make it easier to do business across border in a digital single market, actually they make it harder. They introduce new fragmentation, making it harder to export your service from France to Belgium or from Belgium to the Netherlands, for example. And that's clearly not a good thing for entrepreneurs because in Europe we have a lot of entrepreneurs, but too many of them are too small. What we need is more entrepreneurs who grow huge international businesses. We still see that whether it's around visas or whether it's around things like stock options, whether it's around you know hiring and firing of employees, uh, or even just you know taking an idea, taking a product from one market to the next, there are still too many hurdles placed in the way. Um, and so you know we want to see those things being addressed so that as an entrepreneur, you can just keep your head down and get on with um, you know what really matters, which is growing a business. You know, there's this great opportunity because perhaps uh, with the arrival of Mr. Trump in America, the policy environment in America will turn more negative, and Europe could take advantage.